Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. So uh, today we will talk about SCCM and this is the Microsoft product and it's a full form is Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager and uh, especially we use this application for deploying OS, for managing uh, applications, for patching applications and the rest of things. Fine. So. Uh, Actually, I have not installed this application on my system because uh, this is required some uh, high resource configuration configured system. Why? So I would like to present over PPT and I will let you know within a couple of minutes how you can resolve if you face some errors which you see on thumbnail. Okay. So uh, now let's move to the error and see how we can resolve them. Fine. So first of all, these are the errors that we uh, uh, really face. So first of all is the process cannot access the file because it is being used by another process and error ID is this one. Fine. And the another error is conflict with another application deployment and error ID is quite similar but it's different. 0x800403222. Fine. So uh, basically, these errors are, you know, comes due to some, uh, you know, misunderstanding of deployment and rest of things. So let's go to the next page and you will see errors like this in the error section of your deployment. You will see application conflicts and error or if you uh, if you see in the pop up, see the process cannot access the file. Fine. Now uh, let's go for the resolution and see how we can resolve these issues so the basic cause is of these type of error is to whichever client machine is added to the collection of that application the same machine will be present in a similar collection fine it means the similar application is present in multiple collection which uh, uh, which those collections are belong to same application and uh, eventually we need to remove the workstation from a similar collections because we have to uh, you know do this uh, one thing at the eight time at the eight time right so uh, let's go for the solution and here i have mentioned here find duplicate collections first right so for doing this you need to open your sscm console and go to ass go to assets and compliance then go to devices and then search device that uh, you are facing is right and then click to collection name in the bottom area and find find similar collections it means you need to find out multiple collections those are belongs to same application right then you will uh, get like this if you search your device and then you will get like this so you need to click here in the collections tab this this option will come in the bottom area of your sscm console right then you need to go to assets and compliance and search devices click the bottom area and find the similar collections and then you need to double click to the another similar collection and search the device and right click and then select remove from the collection option right it means you need to find out the duplicate collection and remove that device from those collections it means see if you have a application that you already installed and your device is present in the installation collection and if you want to uninstall that particular device uh, sorry particular application from uh, your workstation then definitely you need to run uninstall collection right so uh, after running uninstall collection your device will be present in uh, install collection and uninstall collection both of them so you have to remove from another all collections and then uh, just stay with only single collection that's it once you do this your workstation will uh, work fine and your collection will not throwing any error let's move to the another one and see see once you remove the workstation from duplicate collections you need to come back to just select the same 
collection where you are facing issues it means whatever is that it means uninstall or install collection then see search same device and right click to the device and select this client notification option and then reevaluate the the uh, applica sorry evaluate application deployments and download computer policy it means these options will follow up for redeployment so your workstation will get instructions from sscm that they have to do it uh, retry and then it will start installing fine now at the final it will take around 15 to 20 minutes to uh, evaluate the de application deployments and it will install automatically you will not face any other issues and if there are still any issues then it definitely it is belong to another things right any uh, task sequence or anything that is belong to uh, your different type of issues so you can just uh, comment on the video and uh, i will definitely try to help you out and uh, hope you like the video and uh, uh, do subscribe, share and like. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.